over that mass pandemonium there. And I, I want you to picture it with me in this context as we see all of these tr um, crowded around him. And a thought came to me um, some months ago with my uh, granddaughter, Annabeth, and that, that drew me back to these passages and made me have some kind of perhaps a little thought about what might have been happening with the disciples. The reason why he might have taken them up on the side of the hill. Maybe he knew exactly what, well, we know he knew what they were thinking, but maybe he knew that they needed this message more than anybody as they were surrounded by this terrifying sight in this mass of tormented humanity. And I'll never forget when Annabeth got old enough to be turned around in her car seat. Now, many of you uh, moms and, and uh, parents and grandparents know what I'm talking about, that until a certain amount of pounds, their little car seat has to be in the back seat and it has to face the back uh, seat. So they're steering straight at it. It's facing uh, this way where all they can see is the seat. Well, Jackson, her older brother, could not wait for his seat to turn around. It was the most fun thing that ever happened to him. It was just like a whole new world. Annabeth was completely different. They, they thought she's going to be so thrilled. She's going to be able to see mom and dad. She can look at brother good across the seat. She's going to love this. Only when they turned around her seat and put her face forward, I'll, I'll never forget it because it just was the most tragic thing. She cried and screamed with her arms waving like this because it was so much world. She could not handle it. And with the oncoming car, she thought they were going to hit her. And so it, it terrified her. And she pitched out her little arms like someone absolutely horrified by a fresh new sight. I, I just want to pitch out to you, is it possible? That's what Christ saw in his disciples. That for the very first time, they had left their area. And now they were in the broader, wider world where there is a tremendous amount of hurt and suffering. And maybe for the first time, their car seats were turned face forward and they saw what real life entailed. And I thought about just the bloody mess of the gospel. That it really is for hurting people just like us for broken people just like us.